presents lined up. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's horrible. It's great. It's like I'm a budget Spider-Man. Right. What are we doing right here? Oh, that's a really good idea. Do you like that? Pizza for Donnelly. <laughs> Not a real worm. No, a real worm, yeah. No. I have to share this with you guys. Okay, I got a lot of things going on in the kitchen right now. First of all, you can see this. So let me take you over here and show you what this is. So we got a new sofa not too long ago and it's gray and it looks fantastic except now the kitchen cabinets don't really match. So I don't know if you know this, but I was, I, I redid our whole kitchen. Like I repainted our whole kitchen in Maryland. Um, all the cabinets and everything, and it changed the look of the kitchen. So I think I'm getting the bug. Not, it was a big, big, big project. <sighs> so not that I'm like dying to do it, but I just love the look when it's finished. So I have some paint samples here that I've hung up, and I'm not sure, we're gonna keep the, um, the granite definitely, and I'm not even sure when this is gonna happen. It takes a long time, but anyway, so here's some beiges, some grays, some more beiges, more grays, a blues kind of, really like light whites, and then more like taupey, and then these are some like sort of starky, whitey white things. So I don't know, what do you guys think? It's sort of hard to tell, but if I back up and I show you, you can see the cabinet, I'm sorry, you can see the granite, and in the picture, the little paint chips above. This is my most favorite color in the world. This is called um, Distant Star. And I used that on um, my kitchen at home. I used it on the upper cabinets of my kitchen. No, wait, lower cabinets. Yeah, the lower cabinets. Because we did white in the upper, Chantilly lace, beautiful color. And then we did the Distant Star on the bottom. Um, I do have the Distant Star in my bedroom. Oh, actually in the bathroom too. Look, at I painted this Distant Star. So I really like this. Oops. Wrong one. I like this color. Can you tell? It's sort of like a like a dusty, bluey, gray. It's just such a nice, like, it's such a nice calming color. And I think it would go, I keep turning this camera around. I think it would go with everything in the living room. You know, so that, it's, I don't know, okay. And then this, our bedroom, our bed's not made right now, but the bedroom is also a distant star. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, look at all of these presents lined up. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and it is present week. Oh my gosh. So this is the sweetest thing ever. When Mike and I first started dating, um, one day he just said, oh my gosh, guess what? And I was like, what? He's like, I saw it on the calendar today. You know what today is? I was like, no, what's today? I'm like, did I miss your birthdays or anniversary? What did I miss? It's like, it's, it's the beginning of present week. Like, what's present week? He's like, it's a week of presents, Jill. So that has been a tradition and he has been spoiling me. Every once in a while I do present week for him, but it's sort of a thing that he does for me and it's so sweet. And so once a day, each day for seven days, I get a present and it doesn't need to be like, it's not a crazy present. Like it's, it could be, I don't know, a candle, uh, which is actually kind of expensive. It could be like, um, like if I've said, oh, you know, I'd really like to get those really cool tooth fosters. Like he'd get those for me. You know what I mean? It's like just a little something that says I've thought of you. And so um, this week is present week. So I'm going to wait for him to get back. I'm not sure where he is. He might be swimming. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not going to open any of these because of course, just one a day. Anyway, I'm not sure which, which day we're on right now. So anyway, that's present week. So and you can see the couch is gray. I'm going to go back to the colors. See, the couch is gray, and it doesn't really go with the brown anymore. So huh, that's probably next on my docket. Oh, I don't know. But I, oh, actually, I take it back. It's not next. You know what's next? Bren, or Ryan's room is next because he has been waiting so patiently, and I pretty much have everything planned out of what we're going to do with Ryan's room, of course, with his um, consult. So we work together on this. But I had to hello, Ryan. What you doing? Waiting for my room to be finished. I know. I did some work on it last night. Not physically in there, but like did some research, found the things. Do you want to it's tell tough. everybody what we're going to do? So basically, uh, I'm really mad that there's bunk beds in here because I have like a bed bigger than a twin. But when we moved here, that wasn't like our a, that wasn't our a plan. Little, little desky do right here. Desky do? I don't know what we're doing here. I got an idea yesterday. What's up? 
Okay, so, wanna hold this? I'll show you. Okay, oh, come out here, I'll show you this. Show everybody this. This is a shelf, a floating shelf. Mm -hmm. Very long floating shelf. And mm -hmm. one of the things I tried to do yesterday is measure, oh, it's bigger than me, okay. So what if we took, we did not take that one, but did a floating shelf just like that, right along here, like right here at the bottom. Jiggy, right. jiggy, jiggy. So you could use it as a thing and a thing, Yeah. right? And then underneath it, we put a, three poofs you can like pull out and sit on. Oh, that's a really good idea. Do you like actually. that idea? Yeah. So they can go under when you're not using them, bring them out mm -hmm. when you want to use them. And they have some too that are storage. Like you can open the top and put stuff yeah. in Yeah. You like that idea? I love that idea. Bam. Okay, so we're gonna go gray. We're changing these out. These are gonna be gray, right? Okay. We can put the black shelf, maybe orange poofs or gray poofs underneath. Okay. So we're gonna accent with orange. You still agree with that, right? No. Oh, you don't want to do orange. I don't know what I want to accent with. Okay. But we'll see. Think about a pop of color. Yeah. Pop, pop of color. Okay. And then desky do over here uh -huh. with little um, decorations and maybe even golf balls up there. Pretty sure. And then take this guy and put him over here. And this is where you'll have your wall that has your golf mm -hmm. thing on it. This goes up new ceiling fan and potentially some like a rug that ties it all together mm -hmm. what do you think about that a rug on a rug yeah rug on a carpet rug on a carpet does that work yeah all right work. you like that idea i already said yeah i'm just here for the ride okay. i'm sending my now this is my question for you <clears throat> mm -hmm. would you prefer that i do it and surprise you one day or do you want to be do you want to partake in have in getting it done no, I think I want to partake in getting it done. Okay, like shopping with me and that kind of stuff? Yeah. Okay. For sure. All right, my goal is to have it done by Thanksgiving by the time everybody comes home for Thanksgiving. I like it. Is I that like a good it. idea? Uh -huh. I think we were going to paint that wall, but you guys, again, that's that same distant star color. I love it. We could paint it, but it does go with the gray. Right. I don't hate it, to be honest. Yeah, it would speed up our process. It kind of matches the sky. Yeah. You know? Mm hmm. All right, so in the meantime, it's probably the longest clip in the whole world. Meantime, Ryan's going to a Halloween party tonight. I am. Uh, I got a little Halloween thing. So I need to get a... Um, does that work? Holy cow, it does. So I got a little Halloween thing. I need to get some costume ideas. I spent 40 bucks on a costume. On like a Greek slash Roman. It's like a Julius Caesar type costume. Uh, it looks great. I so think I think should. I might just do that. Okay. But you have three that you're trying to choose from, I right? I have three. Correct. Do you want to do that now or now? All right, I don't know where my baby is. So. I can go. Oh, do you know where that is? No. I know where your other one is, your green one. Okay, time out, guys. Hold on. Okay, so Ryan's going to try on his three potential costumes. All right, you guys, while I'm waiting for Ryan to do his costumes, his Halloween costumes, I just want to clear something up really quickly because it seems like I've, I've been so confusing. And I appreciate the confusion because I've been not confused, but I just didn't have really clarity on how to share our message with you guys so anyway so um what i wanted to say is there's been so much change lately with our not our channel our channel has been doing this actually there's been a little bit of change with our channel yes there's been so much change lately and we've been like sharing bits and pieces with you but not really a co huge cohesive message so this is the deal we have basically three things one we changed our youtube channel our youtube posting schedule so now we're posting monday through friday and we're recommending videos on the weekends that are past videos if you wanna see those, that's awesome. But it's giving us a day of rest on Sunday and being able to spend the weekends um, with our family, which is part of like fulfilling our mission of, of close, happy families. So that's one thing. So um, we, we change our YouTube posting schedule. The second thing is, is we started a fam club. Um, so not a fan club, but a fam club, like family. Hi, Alice, how are you? And we, you might've heard us talk about this Patreon. So Patreon, I realize, I don't think people really understand what Patreon is. And I don't really think I should have gone out there saying that we're on Patreon. Patreon is really just a platform. It's really just the, the, I don't know. It's like the the platform that houses like all the stuff we do with the fam club. So it's really just an, it's the Donnelly's fam club. And there's two different tiers. If you want to join the fam club, go take a peek. But if you don't join the fam club, you're not left out of anything in terms of 
um, we, in terms of, of what we're, we've always been doing. The fam club does extra stuff, but if you want to stay and just you know watch our YouTube videos and engage that way, that's totally great. If you want to dig a little deeper and you want to have a little bit more behind the scenes and you want to have a little more interaction, if you want to speak one-on-one -on -one, or, or chat one-on-one -on -one with me and, and Mike and the kids sometimes, sometimes the kids, they get busy, but um, then check out the fam club. And if you can look at the link um, right down in the description box. The third thing is we're talking about this family brand. I think I confused everybody on that too. It's really, essentially, we are we have a merchandise shop now called Shop It's the Donnelly's where you can get, you know, t-shirts and, and uh, phone cases and cool stuff, just like cool branded logo-y kind of things. We're gonna absolutely explode that. We're gonna improve it and make it so much bigger. And not only is it gonna be bigger and better, it's going to have a different name. So we wanted to come up with a name that was more encompassing of not just like, it's the Donnelly stuff. The, these items are gonna be so much, have so much more appeal beyond just folks who are have been watching us forever like we want to make sure that that you guys like what we're what we're delivering but also this is for even more people like so if someone's never watched the channel before they would still understand the merchandise and it would they would still connect with it so that's what we're doing so from now on this is it's the Donnelly's 2.0 we're going to refer to the fam club and we're going to refer to um, merchandise because I think the family brand it sounds it's kind of hard to understand, but you'll you'll get it as we go and as it grows, you'll see. It's very exciting. So anyway, I just wanted to clear that up. Oh, also, you don't have to be part of the fam club to buy the merchandise, and you don't have to buy the merchandise if you're in the fam club. I had some comments where people thought, well, I, I, I'm, I, I don't want to join the fam club, but I still want to get merchandise, but I don't think I can. So it was a little bit confusing. I apologize from the bottom of my heart. That was not my intention. My intention is to do things to the, the, like to give you guys more, like to just absolutely expand and grow and give you guys more. Anyway, that's the end of it. So now I think Ryan is ready to show us his very first Halloween costume. Here you go. Wait, you gotta put the hood up. What? You gotta put the hood up if you're gonna wear that costume. This is Baby Yoda. This is number one. Uh, what's the thing? What's the thing? I don't know. Uh, I bought this a while ago for a football game. Actually, not that long ago. Anyway, it's really comfortable, and I'm down to wear it. It's a little bit small for me, but it doesn't matter. But also, it has a hole in it. Oh, sugar! What happened? I don't know. Wait, it has a hole in it. Oh so, no! We'll see your conditioning. Can we sew? Yeah, I can sew that for you. Can we sew? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. And then, um, yeah, this is option one. I really like it. It's really comfortable. It's not the most creative thing in the world. Right. It's really cool. You'd have to have the hood up. I mean, that's the whole part because it has the funny ears and the face. Does it make it too small when the hood's up? Maybe. Let's see. <laughs> All, ears. All right, you guys. Yeah. Would you do you like this one, or you want to go put the second one on? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're such a good sport. All right, here's. A <laughs> Number two! Wait, you don't have the shoes on! The shoes are my favorite part! The shoes are a lot. Okay. Can you, can you tie it? Can you yes. Tie it back yes. Alright, hold on a second. Nice, Ryan. Okay, let's see. Can you tie it? So. Uh, Hail Caesar! So, yeah, it's supposed to be Julius Caesar. Do you have a hat or anything? No, you, yeah, you, don't you have oh, a thing that goes I around your head? Tiara thing, huh? Yes. Okay, here comes Ryan in outfit number three. This is one of my favorite outfits. All right, you gotta put the face on. You gotta put the, the, the thing on your face. It, it, it doesn't even like fit. Watch. All right, you guys. Oh my gosh, tell me that's not fantastic. This is horrible. It's great. It's like I'm a budget Spider-Man. <laughs> Out. Okay, so the story behind this is when Ryan was like 10, morph suits were all, like all the rage, right? right. And for right, and after Halloween, I happened to be at like the Halloween or costume store or something. And it was on sale for like five bucks. I'm like, oh, I have to buy this. So I had this green morph suit that would have fit you every single year for like all of your Halloween, except for guess what Ryan decided to be every single year for Halloween. A banana. a banana. So he got—he was a banana one year, and then every year he's like, "That's what I am. I'm right. a banana." He wouldn't change his costume. Right. So for the first time, a couple every of years ago, you were like, "Hey Ryan, I have a morph suit for you." <laughs> I was like, "But my banana's right here." And I was like, 
and I know you've seen the banana. I'll be posting that. That's going to be like my annual post on Instagram is right. Ryan dancing in the banana costume. Oh, it's shit. probably my favorite. One of my you favorite videos that? ever. I posted it. Well, uh, Not this year yet. But um, watch for watch on Instagram, you guys. I will post Ryan in his banana costume. Oh, so no. the morph suit, he finally broke it out this year. Of course, now he's the tallest he's ever been. And this, uh, it just didn't work out. So it's you don't want to wear this? Like back is, oh, jeez. Uh, okay. So All right. So maybe maybe not the morph suit, huh? You look like um, the Incredible Hulk or Frogman. Oh, well, like Kermit. Kermit. Who's Tinkerbell's boyfriend? Oh yeah. What's his Terrence. name? Is it Terrence. Terrence. Yeah. All right, Ryan. So what's your decision? What are you gonna wear? Or are you gonna? Or do we need to wait and see until you go? Okay. Well, I'm either wearing Julius or um. What's it called? Yoda. The, the Yoda. Okay. I don't wear Yoda. It's just too comfortable. It's you wearing also, Yoda? Yeah. Oh, come on. You can't like jump around or do anything in this. In Julius. Or... Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. We'll can, see you before you. you... Yeah. We'll see you before you go to your party. All right. We're... Okay. What's up, guys? I'm Tyler Gersh. Nice. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. yeah, keep it up. Introduce right. yourself. What are we doing right here? Playing some golf. Nice. Um, Who are we with? We're with Bo. Mm -hmm. Going, What's going so on? Good. Feeling pretty good. What are we, one over through Yeah, we're just nine. Close. One over through nine for a little screen. I'm even good. through nine. Ryan's going by, by himself. By myself, myself, I'm even through I'm, nine. I'm playing really so bad honestly, golf. it's a bad day for me. Usually like two or three under at this point. But really bad We're making some birdies. It's it's the back nine, so anything can happen. Anything. Well, the boys are buzzing. It's a beautiful day, and uh, I hope y'all are buzzing too. Cheers. Yeah, let these guys play. Looks like our pizza's arriving. Ryan and Mike and I are, hi. Hello. Ryan and Mike and I are having pizza at the pool tonight before Ryan's party. Oh, there's Mike right there. He just pulled up. Pizza for Donnelly. <laughs> Come pizza on for in. Cute, cute little chill Donnelly. Come on in. Hey there. Hi. <laughs> you guys look like you're living the life. Oh, we're living. Wow, is it good? We're living. Hey, oh, I have the plates and stuff. You want plates? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll go get the plates. Hold All on. right, you ready to go to your party? All ready. Let's do it. <laughs> you feel good in that? I feel great. Fantastic. I feel ready. Okay. I feel inspiring. Okay. Um, <laughs> you are inspiring, especially with that okay. hood on. Yeah, it's great, Ryan. Anyway. All right, let's go. Right, We're taking the, okay, this is the thing. We're taking the bug. I want you wearing the hood the whole way. Oh, everyone's going to see it. Fabulous. For sure. Get all ready. They're waiting for you over there. Oh. Have fun, baby. I love you. Fresh. All right. See you guys. <laughs> Bye. He's getting tired. <laughs> He's like, oh my gosh. I can't even stand up to get it anymore. I just gotta lay down. I just gotta lay down. Ryan's home from his uh, Halloween party. Did you have a good time? Uh -huh. Yeah, it was fun. Ryan was telling me in the car about the game that they played. So tell me your trick-or-treat game. Okay, so the game we played was trick-or-treat. So basically, you went up, you spun a wheel, and say the trick-or-treat. And they had like five bags of tricks, five bags of treats. The treats were just like candies, like they had like Reese's and Pop Rocks and like Fruit Roll up stuff like that. And then the trick, which is what everyone actually wanted to see, was just <laughs> disgusting food and you had to eat it no matter what you got. So there was like sardines, there was Spam, <laughs> there was like these little little sausages. Vienna like, sausages. Vienna sausages. Oh, uh, what else? What else? Baby food. Baby food. Trevor had to slurp down Canned some baby asparagus. food. Canned asparagus. Horrible stuff. <laughs> and uh, it, was, it was funny to watch people eat it. Glad no one threw up. Wait, uh, what? I was having glad no one threw oh, up. Oh, gosh, I thought this somebody did. Did you have to eat any of the tricks? No, no, no. no. Thank you. It goodness. reminds me of uh, at camp, they did a, a thing called the worm spit, where you had to put a worm in your mouth and spit it. Not a real worm. No, a real worm, yeah. No. Yep. 
Okay, that. Can oh, we change yeah. this? I might die. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I don't want to talk about it. All right, you guys. What made me happy today was. What made me happy today? What did make me happy? Um. Oh, going to the pool for a pizza pool. Yes, it was that so was fun. so fun. I really enjoyed pizza pool. Uh, what made you happy today? <laughs> yeah. Uh, seeing all my friends again at Young Life. Um, and just driving out of the pool today. It was so much fun. That was fun. Anyway. All right, Halloween's just around the corner, you guys. What are you going to be? Comment down below. I think I'm going to dress up for trick-or-treat, like to, not to go trick-or-treating, but right. to give out candy. The stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be fun. The stuff. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what made you guys happy today. See, See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Peace. For the latest in Live Happy and It's the Donnelly's merchandise, visit shopitsthedonnelly's.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.